Hello and welcome to Blue Average Gaming, I'm your host of Blue Average Gamer. Today we are playing Minecraft. I bet you thought we were done, I bet you thought it was over, but no, you are wrong, you're stupid, incorrect, all these things. I love you, you're fantastic. I feel a sneeze coming on. Hey! There it goes. There it went. Oh my gosh, there's stuff everywhere, blood, mucus, everything. Oh my goodness, there's diarrhea, urine. Today I'm going to be showing you, um... How to make a good, a proper village farm. Um, my, my, that does not, by any stretch of the imagination, mean that mine is perfect or that mine is complete or anything. Um, but this is a good way to get started. So what I started with was this cage or this uh, well cage, but this whole uh, containment system here. As you can see, I have a lot of villagers, a lot of villagers. I think I have somewhere near 100. But um, I started with this containment. Make sure that you light it up all around, that way zombies are less likely to pop in. The only time that you're going to be at most danger is when you're first getting started. So just maintain it for the first couple days and you'll be fine. As you can see I have these iron golems that are like all over the place in here. In 1.8 you're able to kill the iron golems, take their iron, um, kill the villagers you didn't want, etc. So yeah, as of 1.9 that's actually going to cause you less good trades and less frequent trades. So, and uh, less breeding. So, you don't do that anymore. That's why I, uh, originally what this was, was I was killing all the ones I didn't like, and I was just keeping all the good ones. Um, but this kind of became the breeding center as 1.9 came out. And after 1.9, I needed a way to keep these guys in check. So these are all my breeders. I left all the breeders in here. And I would slowly start filtering out the ones that I wanted to keep. So I created this section out here. Um, that section came later. Where I was keeping my good villagers. As you can see, most of them are, uh, scientist villagers. The, the texture pack that I have works really well with that too if you're going into villager um, spawning and villager uh, capturing. It's going to help you a lot because, here's the thing, um, the scientists actually look a lot different. All the villagers look very much different than the other village. I fell in, okay, very different than the other villagers. As you can see, some have purple hats, some have the welding masks on, all sorts of stuff that's different from the others. I'm going to close my window real quick because you can hear them mowing the lawn. But, uh, yeah, so, as you can see with this, all of them look very, very different. Um, so you can tell them part easier. Even in zombie form, um, they look a little bit different from the front, back, every angle. They all look different. So, yeah, there's that. So even if they're not facing you or they're facing a way that you can't see their nose, so to tell if they're a zombie village or not when you're creating one, you can, you can tell from all angles what they are. Mmm. Homemade ice cream. Delicious. So, yeah, then I just expanded out here. Expand it over here. I have people asking me all the time tips on um, villager farms because they know that I have a substantial village farm. I know that people probably have ones bigger than this. And I'm probably going to have to start over soon with the, with the mansion being finished. Um, but yeah, so uh, this one here has a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of options that you can get to capture zombies. What you can do is you can get eggs to make zombies and hopefully get a zombie villager. And cure it. And hope that it's a good one. Um... You can get uh, villager eggs, which are super rare in the Hello Miner server. So I, I suggest that not being your main source of villagers. Or you can uh, just have them wander in. I use all three. If I have an egg, I'll usually use it immediately. Or I'll save it and sell it, usually. I have this system here where I can choose where I want to lock them out. Now this place does have entry deny on it. So other uh, players cannot get in through these fences. However, zombies, and, uh, zombies can. Mostly zombies because skeletons actually won't chase you, and they, they aren't drawn towards villagers. As you can see, this zombie here, he's drawn towards his farm, and he's actually going to wander all the way into here. Let me make sure that's closed. All the way into here. See? Which means that every now and then I will get a zombie villager who wanders in. Um, I suggest put a thing up here because if you don't get to them in time and it's during the day, or like if I'm out here doing stuff and I look back and I'm like, oh... A zombie villager wandered in. I don't want them to burn up in the sun. So I need uh, some sort of shade here. I also have this spot over here for when I have the eggs. Um, it's a separate thing. I have a bed in there because beds make villager zombies turn into villagers faster if they're in the same vicinity. Um, but yeah, so you spawn them here, kill them, spawn them here, kill them, spawn them here, kill them. If it is a zombie villager, I cure them real quick and then I open this. And since they are wanting to wander towards the villagers, um, they'll actually wander into here usually. 
and I can just keep them there for a little bit. I'll just close that, and then I can get to make the next one. Don't ever keep two zombie villagers in the same area, because if you do, um, if one gets cured before the other, that one will turn that other one, either kill it or turn it into a regular zombie, and then you just lost your chance at that. Oh, look, here's a guy. Boop. <clears throat> so there's one of the mistakes that I made with this place, is um, zombies won't spawn on half slabs, but I made this place, and I was like, you know, it's pretty safe enough. I have a bunch of iron golems wandering the facility. I had more. I don't know what happened to him. There's one there. There was one over here. Is he still here? No, I guess he got out. <laughs> but yeah, people are saying all the time, they're like, oh yeah, my villagers are despawning. My villagers are despawning. Mine haven't despawned. The only thing that's despawned really are my iron golems. My iron golems have completely despawned. I used to have, and you've seen in other videos, I used to have like seven of them. Now I have one. And the rest are all in the facility. So yeah, something's going on here. I don't know what's happening. Someone's coming in and killing them. Someone's doing something. I don't know. But whatever. Not that big a deal. Um, these all have doors. As you can see, um, this is one of the best mechanisms I've seen for trades, is to have a door and this. This is going to keep them in. The door is going to keep zombies out. Because in this server, zombies actually can't break doors. So this is going to keep the zombies out. We keep the villagers in so that I can trade with them whenever I'd like. Really good system. Um, how do you get them from here to there? Well, that is very complicated. Um, that's why I've started making them actually in the empty cells themselves. Um, but yeah. So, when they're in here, what I wanted, so say I want this this one here. Let's try to get Todd out. Todd, today's your lucky day. You are leaving the breeding system. And you are hopefully going to be, Todd, I swear to God, if you don't do this, you need to cooperate with me. Go. Go. I have to be careful with this because all the other villagers, oh, oh God. Sometimes the vill other villagers will try to get out themselves. Now you see... At night, <clears throat> I this guy I was trying to get him in earlier, but I just left him. At night, they'll all flock to wherever the closest villagers are. Um, my villagers tend to stay in this corner here, inside, if you want to look in here. They're all in this corner because it's night and they want to get indoors, but they can't. So they're all kind of bundled up. So he's going to wander back and forth between those two. So it's going to be pretty impossible to get him in here. And every time I move him, he's going to wander back. So you got to wait till daytime. But he's pretty safe. Um... While I'm here, um, there's Iron Golem, like I said. Every now and then, zombies will spawn. <clears throat> they won't spawn, but they'll glitch in. So they'll actually glitch through this wall if there's too many. And I'll have a little uh, horde coming. Oops, sorry, text from the fiancé. Um, yeah, see, so he kind of wants back in. But I'm going to, um, actually, once the sun comes up, I'm going to move him over to the other side. Now, there are a couple different ways you can do that. You can pray and just push him on your own, or you can put him in a minecart. I tend to just push him, because once you get him about here, they'll just run through themselves if they're going to run anywhere. And during the day, they're pretty easily movable. There. I actually only need two. I only I need one of these. One minecart. Because I'll actually I'll do it right now. Let's see. Well, I have it. Make sure that he's standing on there. Boop, and he's in the minecart. And I can actually get rid of this now. And I can move him as I'd like. Um, it is a little bit slower than pushing him himself, but it keeps him from running away. So, like, it's night. If I really needed to get him over there, um, for some reason, I would do this. I've kind of messed myself up there, though, because I've, I've made that turn really weird, and really wiggly. Really wiggly, so I can't get him through there. So I'll just push him around here. It's gonna, like I said, it's going to take me a while. Once it hits day, I'm probably just going to break this and let him run. Because, um, like, like I said, normally during the day, they won't run. They'll just kind of wander in that same vicinity that you're putting them. And so a lot of the times, usually they'll actually run the way that you want them to go. Especially once I get him here into this clearing, where he, like, can't see the other side. He'll just run. Now, having villagers loose can be very, very dangerous. Because they'll open and close doors. And if they leave a door open... Like a prepubescent boy, as soon as he comes home from school, if they just leave that refrigerator open, um, zombies can get in and they'll they'll attack your villagers. Because the thing about your villagers being stuck, ooh, ooh, I have an empty door. I have some, some empty doors here. What happened? I thought I had villagers in here. Did creeper go off? Whatever. I don't think there was anything over here of value, really. No, I think they were all um, bakers. 
so I can put him there. Like I said, minecart's probably not the best way. I'm going to break this, and hopefully he does not just go running, and hopefully I don't hit him. Oh, he landed on the other side of the door. Shoot. Do not run. I'm your friend. I'm helping you. Todd. Todd! Todd, no! Todd, why? Todd, why are you like this? Were you born this way? <clears throat> Todd, I want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to me good, please. I'm trying to help you. I am desperately trying to help you. I do have one, but I'm busy right now. <clears throat> so if I leave Todd, I don't, I don't want to leave Todd because he's immobile right now. So even if zombies came in, he would not be able to save himself. Here's what else you can do here. <clears throat> you can just kill him because he's being kind of a nuisance. I don't want to do that. I don't want to kill, I don't want to kill you, Todd. Don't make me hurt you, Todd. Todd, Todd, please. Please! No, you s Fine. Go, Todd. Go. This is what you want. There. Happy. Bye. I hate you, Todd. I hate you. I hate you so much, Todd. You are the worst villager. I don't even know what you trade. What do you trade? Are you even worth keeping alive? I know I can't kill you. Feather Falling 3, that's pretty decent. For 44, though, that's not that great. Power. Silk Touch. Silk Touch for 6. Dang it, Todd. You are such a good villager. I'm so angry because I, I can't kill you. You're just too good of a villager to kill. Ah. Put the glass top so that sun can come in, but zombies won't. Um, what else? What other questions might you have? Is that really the easiest way to get them out? Um, yeah, as you can see, I put doors on a couple sides here. I don't make them in there anymore just because they are so hard to get out. Watch, a bunch of villagers are going to... I suggest not leaving that open for very long. Why are you doing this to me? You were you were born here. This one, as you can see, since he doesn't have a name tag above him, he actually was uh, born here. Whereas if they have um, zombie egg over their name, it's Mortimer. Find one, Bill. Zombie egg. Zombie egg over their name. They were a zombie egg that was cured. Um, while they're a zombie in transformation to becoming a villager, a real life boy. You can actually hit them with a name tag and they'll get a name. You have to, you have to pick a name for them. So mine all have old people names. Um, the one thing that I would say to keep watch for in here is creepers. Creepers will mess you up. Oh, a creeper did go off and kill these. It had to because I had a cat that was locked in one of these. You not doing your job. Get out. Get out. Get out. You're supposed to be keeping the creepers away. I love you. I love you a lot more than I love Todd. Stupid idiot. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy into the cage now. Nope, not yet. One of the best ways to get them in, I found, is to get them in over here. Because since they all cluster on that corner, if I get them in here, most likely the villagers won't run out. But there, you have to be very careful with villagers, because um, they will run. If you trade with them, they'll actually usually run away once you're done trading with them. So don't trade with them in a spot that you need to keep them still. Okay, keep them away from zombies, all that good stuff, yada yada yada. I don't know what else. If you have questions on how to make a good villager farm, let me know. Um, I'd say one of the biggest things to keep track of is that as of the 1.9 update, um, you, you have to be friendly to the villagers. You have, you have to um, not hurt or injure iron golems. You cannot hurt or injure other villagers. Um, yeah, so that's just one of the big things now, is making sure that your villagers are safe, and making sure that they're happy, and they'll breed. Um, mine aren't breeding right now because they're dumb and stupid, but yeah, and in, in the hell of mine deserve, I've noticed that it's kind of hard to get villagers to breed. If you have a way to get villagers to breed, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions on how to make a good villager farm, leave me some comments below. Um, always, please, like and subscribe. Um, let's go ahead and down here real quick before we finish talking about that. After all this was done, I built the gold farms up here. It's just a bunch of nether portals, really big nether portals, with water. This thing actually happened to be, I'm I know I'm dying, happened to be the exact width that I would need to get this system to work. So water flows straight up to this last row here, and then this last row flows straight down into this.
which shoots all the zombie pigmen down here. I didn't build one of these for a long time because I thought it'd be really complicated, but it wasn't. I just, I had enough money and I was like, I'm just going to make one. And then you get Enderman. No, you don't. I don't know why he's here. You see, I got these. I also use this, as you can see, to get leather. I just drop cow eggs in there. I have a little window that I can use to drop cow eggs in, and they just fall and die, and I grab their leather. I leave the meat because I don't really need the meat. If I wanted to, I could make this a lot bigger. I, I probably might in the future, but as for right now, it's doing pretty well. I use this gold pretty much just for golden apples. But yeah, it's great. I'm happy. They're happy. We're all happy. Horse, camel, how's it going? Yeah, so this is um your basic villager farm. It's pretty chaotic. Not a lot going on. So you can see I have these chests that are unorganized just everywhere. That's pretty much all junk. This is stuff that I use on the regular basis. You know, like uh, snowballs, blue orchids, gunpowder, all that good stuff. I suggest that if you are going to go into um, getting your villagers all set up in a system like this, start small and work your way big. Don't start big and try to work your way small. Like, don't make this whole thing and then try to work on just this thing over here. Because what that's doing, all that that's doing is giving zombies the opportunity to spawn more often. Okay? Use half slabs. The one thing that I did not do... Make sure that the half slabs are on the lower slab, because if they're on the upper slab, it's still counting as a, as a full slab for the zombie to spawn on. I put these lights up here, because zombies were spawning in those gaps. Like, they were glitch spawning in the blocks themselves. So put that there. Um, now here I have a wheat farm. I keep saying that. I have a sugar cane farm. So I can harvest this sugar cane, and uh, sell it to my villagers. When I don't feel like doing that, or I want to get like double the sugar cane since I'm here all the time, um, players can actually sell me sugarcane here. Um, how I have that set up is that they just rent the sugarcane farm for free. And they can go ahead and do that. See? Pretty cool. Pretty cool little system. It's in the middle of my city too, so it's always active with people if, uh, they're living here. But yes, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting. I appreciate you. You the best. And, uh...